Good morning, stamping friends. How is everyone doing today? I hope you're doing well. We had a fun weekend because we have company in town actually for a whole month. They're not staying with us, but staying nearby. And so, gosh, we see them quite often and just do a lot of fun things that we don't normally do. And um, we've been able to take in the Barrett Jackson Auto Show. We didn't go to the Super Bowl. And then also the Waste Management um, Golf Tournament is going on. So it has been busy and fun here in Arizona. Plus we've had gorgeous weather. Well, let's get to stamping here. We are gonna use one of my favorite sets in the mini catalog, and I can't wait to share it with you. I'm sure you've seen it in there, but I particularly like it probably because we live in the Southwest and it is right up my alley. So it's just a really fun set to work with. In fact, I'm doing a retreat with this kind of as my theme. So um, stay tuned to my YouTube channel and my blog because I'll be sharing projects down the road and pictures from the weekend. All right, let's start with today's project and let me turn my camera around and we will get started. One of my favorite stamp sets in our mini catalog is called Taco Fiesta. This is actually a stamp set that Erica Sirwin designed because she hit her $1 million sales. So anytime a demonstrator does that, they get to help design a stamp set that goes in a catalog. And so this is what she came up with. And she lives in Texas, so I'm sure that inspired her to come up with a kind of Texan theme. But I just love this stamp set. I love it so much that I am doing an event that features this theme. So I have been playing with this quite a bit. And if you signed up for my online card club, this is a stamp set that we are going to be using. Now, the deadline is already passed for the February online card club. But if you sign up, you can still get in on next month's projects. Uh, I haven't announced which set I'm going to use. I don't do that until the 25th of the month. Um, Sometimes it depends on what is all available. But for this month, we're using this. And, you know, I know everybody has their own style of stamping and stamp sets that they like. And I really try hard to use a variety of different types. So I always tell my online card club members that even if they don't prefer a stamp set, the cards are designed so that you can substitute your own and you will still be able to make use of all the pieces and the kits that you get to make the eight cards. So make sure you check out my online card club. Well, let's start with today's project, and we are going to use paper that is actually free. It's in the celebration catalog. Now, this is the last month for celebration, so if you haven't taken advantage of this, everything in here that has a little circle by it like this is free. And I, yo or I chose the Dandy Designs paper because it has the granny apple green, and I think that's just a perfect color to go with our taco card that we're going to make today. So let me grab the supplies here, and let's get started. The card base is going to be granny apple green, and this is an eight and a half by five and a half inch piece of cardstock. And I already scored it down the middle on the eight and a half inch side, so it's scored at four and a quarter. And let's just fold that and make a crisp um, crease on that fold. And this is gonna be our card front. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to kind of make our own little background paper. And what I chose to do is I'm gonna do a tone on tone look. So I'm choosing Granny Apple Green ink. I love using tone on tone. And then because we're doing a guacamole card, we are gonna put our background images as the chips. So all we're gonna do is randomly go around edges here and we're gonna be filling most of the middle of the card. So I just need to hit all these edges here and you can leave a little bit of space if you want and go off the paper, just go very random. And we are gonna fill in with another chip size. Like I said, make some little pieces that go off the page. And then there's a single chip that's larger and let's fill in some of these gaps with that larger chip. Isn't that neat how you can kind of make your own DSP and um, that way you can make any color coordinate with anything you're doing. I guess I kind of did fill the page, but we're really only gonna see that outside edge. All right. Now we're going to take basic black cardstock, and this is four and a half by three and a quarter. And we are going to put this right smack in the middle of our card. And this is just going to make a nice little border around the next layer that we're going to do. Do you guys like guacamole? I One of my customers showed me a TikTok on how you can go to Costco and buy that big bag of avocado and what you do is you pit them all and make your own guacamole however you like to make it lime juice garlic tomatoes if you like it and all you do is mix it up like you're gonna make um guacamole and then you put little dollops on with an ice cream scoop on wax paper and on a cookie sheet and then 
you put it in your freezer and freeze them all. Once they're frozen, you take them out of the freezer and then um, put them in a baggie and then you can freeze them again. They won't stick to each other because they're already frozen. And then you can just pop them out as you need them. If you just want to put some on some toast or your salad or however you want, you don't have to, you know, try to use all those avocados in one week before they all turn brown. So I thought that was a pretty cool idea. All right, the next piece we're gonna need is four and a quarter by three inch, and this is a striped pattern. And we are just gonna glue this right on top of the black layer that we just did. So anyway, I thought that was a really cool idea, and I am really anxious to try that. The gal's name is Kat, who told me about that. All right, let's just put this right in the middle of this layer. That's about a one fourth inch border. And now we're gonna stamp kind of the focal point of this card. So grab basic white paper and you'll want to die cut it using our stylish shapes and you get squares and circles and not ovals, squares, circles and banners in this. And there's every size you can imagine. But this is the two and three eighths by two and three eighths. So we're going to put this down. Let me flip this over so it doesn't get busy here. We're going to do a little bit of masking. And I'll, I'm sure many of you already know, but in case there's new stampers on that are watching, I wanna show you how you create a mask so that you can do some layering. I'm taking some Memento black ink, and this is just a post-it note. And I'm going to stamp this up towards the sticky side because we want this to be a little bit sticky. And then you're just going to fussy cut this out with your scissors. And I have one cut out already. Now if I can find it over here, and it will look like this when you're done. And then put this in your stamp set when you're done because I can almost guarantee you, you'll want it again for another card down the road and then you have to fussy cut another one and it just takes more time. All right, so whatever you want in your masking to be the front piece is what you're gonna stamp first. Like I want this bowl to be in front. So I'm gonna stamp that first. So I'm gonna um, just ink it again and then stamp it right about here. And then what you're gonna do is take that little mask that has the sticky on the back and place it right smack on top of that. And that is gonna cover that up so that whatever you stamp next to it, you can see I've already done this once, it will not show up on the bowl and it will be behind it. So I'm gonna take our little avocado and I'm gonna do just that, kind of put it over to the edge. And it's kind of like a magic trick. Watch what happens. You ink it and you stamp it and then you peel this little mask off. Ah. And voila, see how it looks like it's behind it? You could do it again with the avocado if you wanted to make a grouping of things, but just know that every mask that you need, you have to fussy cut one out. All right, I think we're done with the black. Now we're gonna do our sentiment right away. And I chose to use the one, of course, that has the word guacamole. It says, holy guacamole, it's your birthday. And I'm just gonna center that at the top again in granny apple green. All right, now let's color this little image in. This is a matchy matchy card. So we are gonna use Granny Apple Green again. I chose the darker blend for this. Remember that we wanna use our Memento Black ink for blends because if you don't, it's gonna pull the black in. If you use stays on, it is not gonna um, blend well. And then we're also going to color the guacamole. We are gonna color that um, the dark Granny Apple Green. All right. Now the next color we're gonna use is our light Granny Apple Green. And whoops, look at my, this end is worn out. So normally I tape this, I need to get some packing tape. I like to tape the bad end because then I don't keep grabbing for it. And this that way I remember that it's kind of a bad end. I've overused it sometimes in my classes. Um, that's when they tend to wear out, but I wear them out as well. I really use my blends almost every time I stamp. I love them. And they do exactly what they say. They blend. When you don't use blends, you know how sometimes when you make a line and then you make a line next to it, it'll leave a line? Well, blends eliminate that, so it all blends the same color. If you wanted to do some shading, you could. You could bring some dark in and then um, blend it with the light, but because we have that little border around there, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Now we have basic black, and this is the darkest one, which is gonna be a true black. And we're just gonna color that bowl. And you won't see the lines through this because it is pitch black. I remember, this is a silly story, but pitch black reminded me of it. When our oldest son, Brooke, was, I don't know, like third grade, I remember he saw a red hot car and he said, mom, look at that, it's pitch red. <laughs> I'll never forget that. He just thought pitch meant 
Very. That's very red. All right, now we're going to take soft suede. This is what I mean by taping that in so I don't accidentally use it. I save three seconds in my day by not going for the bad end. <laughs> And there's one other little trick I want to show. When I do the little face, because all these have little faces that you can do. This one's really cute with the mustache. Um, but when you do this, look at how wide their eyes are. And for the taco and for maybe the bowl, it works. But on this little avocado, his eyes are almost off the avocado. But I really wanted to use the avocado. So what I did was I took kind of the old-fashioned way of doing this. You have to use a Stampin' Right marker though because if you use a blend on here, these blends dry so fast. So by the time you get this on the paper, it's going to be dried already. So Stampin' Blends, or I mean Stampin' Right markers are good for this. So just color in the little face like this and then just stamp it where you want it to go. Don't worry about the eyes at this point. I guess I probably could have even made that shape on here. And then take the other end, the skinny, tiny little journaling end, and just make your two eyes like that. And I'm going to show you. See, isn't that cuter when they're together closer? Let me just hold this up and show you how wide they are. See how they're almost like on the, the outside of the edge? But I, I really like him with a face. So... I guess I probably could have used the mustache on that. If I make another one, maybe I'll put a little mustache on there. But isn't that cute? Then I don't know if this is a true statement, but I like to add a little bit of bling. And so I am going to add just a little bit of Wink of Stella. Like I said, I'm not sure that guacamole is really blingy, but we'll pretend like it's wet and shiny and <laughs> we'll add some. I just like to add and spice it up a little bit, no pun intended. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is just put this on our card front. And, you know, um, I like to use dimension a lot. I just like to make layers pop. And so we're going to use our dimensionals again. And just one in each corner is going to be fine. And we're going to add this off to the side just a little bit like this. And then the next thing I chose to do was to take our little black matte dots and these are in our annual catalog and I chose the larger size and then grab your take your pick tool and you can just slide these off like this. And when I use, I'd like to use odd numbers. When I do this, I put the middle one down first. So I'm going to put this about right in the middle between these two spaces. Let's go right about here and then do the other side and then it's easier to line. Whoops. Actually, I'm going to put this side because I can't see where I'm setting it at this angle. So we'll go two and then, whoops, that one's really not lined up and centered. And then for that third one, it's really easy to line up because you have two down. Right like that. Now, if this is a little bit too monochromatic, we could add a little hat to him because let me show you the hat on here. It's so cute. And this is where you can add a little more color. In fact, maybe I'll do that. So let's add a little hat just so we can bring some other colors besides green in here. And we'll use Memento again. These do not have dyes. So this is one set where you just have to fussy cut this. I think we will use Daffodil Delight, brighten it up that way. And then what's another good Mexican color? How about pumpkin pie? I think that'll look good. We'll do the dark color. Then all we have to do is fussy cut this out. There's our little birthday card for your 
Mexican or Spanish or whatever friend you have who likes um, guacamole. And um, I hope you enjoyed that. It was very simple to make. And I hope you join me again next week on Tuesday morning. I do my YouTube lives for you, 9 a.m. Arizona time. Don't forget to take advantage of Celebration. Any order over $50 will earn you some Celebration rewards. Also, I send a little treat in the mail, um, some Stampin' Up! product as my way of saying thank you. And that is if your order is over $50 and you use the host code. If this host code isn't good, because some of you might see this a month later, just use the host code that is always current on my blog, which is www.confessionsofastampingaddict.com. Also, remember, you can um, get products almost half price if you purchase the starter kit. It's only $99 free shipping, but you can choose $175 worth of products. You guys, this is too good of a, a deal to pass up. Um, thank you for those of you who have already taken advantage of this. I'm so happy to have you on my team. And once you're all signed up, I'll send you all the other information in case you want to plug in with our team. And um, if you don't want to do that deal, they have a second deal where you can spend $129 and still choose $175 worth of products. But you also get the mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine thrown in with it. You can get it either in white or boho blue. So good two deals going on and they both end February 28th. So, all right, thanks again, guys, and we will see you next week. Bye-bye.